So let's talk about trust. Trust is not only the foundation of cohesive teams, but it is also the foundation of all relationships, whether that's with employees or whether it's with customers. But here's the challenge. There's often a gap that exists between what we expect and what we experience. And when it comes to that gap, we as human beings do one of two things. We either fill that gap with trust or we fill it with suspicion. So why is it that we choose suspicion? And it's usually because there's a lack of trust. So the challenge is we know that trust is built with four different components. Competency, reliability, authenticity, and care. If we want to build greater trust, we need to know more about what we're doing and display that we have the ability to do the things that we say we're going to do. We've got to follow through. But more importantly, in these things, as we know from the brain and neuroscience, these things are only worth about 25% of what actually builds trust. 75% of what builds trust is about feelings, a feeling that somebody is authentic. You can just sense when you're talking with somebody whether they're authentic or not. And this whole element of care is about whether they are putting your best interests in front of their own. And you can feel that when, in, when selling a car, for instance, when you're concerned about getting the extra incentive, the extra bonus, the extra spiff, because we want to sell the aged unit, and you're steering that customer towards that unit because it's more important to you to get the extra money than it is to look after what is best for the customer. Your customer will feel that, and they will feel that it's not only disingenuous for you to be doing that, but that you don't care about them. And when that happens, trust is broken, and the rest of the transaction, the rest of the time that you spend with that customer is going to be filled with a sense of suspicion. And it is going to be so much harder to do business within that environment. But let's go back to teams because there's, there's two components when it comes to building trust within teams. That is that we are trusting people, but that we are also trustworthy in our behaviors. And what I really love when we talk about this in teams, and I was speaking with a general manager yesterday, and we were talking about the importance of trust within his team. And I said, it's equally important that we are people that are trustworthy than that we talk about trust. Because trust is something that I uh, convey onto you that I'm going to trust you. But trustworthiness is something that I do from myself. And so it's really a, a great exercise when teams talk about this whole area of trust and avoiding the gap between what they expect and what they experience is that a team gets together and says, you know what, we're going to commit to each other, that we are going to trust each other and that I am going to be trustworthy in my behaviors. And I have a great one page commitment sheet. If you really want to work through issues of trust within your team, it's important to to talk about those elements and then at the end to get together and fill out a commitment that says, listen, I am going to choose trust. When I sense that there's a gap, I am going to choose trust. And that is commitment number one. When there is a gap between what I expect and what I experience, I will fill that gap with trust. Commitment number two, when I observe other people filling a gap with suspicion, when somebody else, let's say I'm around the water cooler and they are saying, you know, I don't know about what was just said in that meeting. I just have a, we stop them and we say, when I observe other people filling a gap with suspicion, I will come to the defense of my fellow teammate and fill the gap with trust. Instead of piling on, I'm going to choose trust and say, time out. I think that there's a gap there something that we need to explore, something we need to get more information before we just choose suspicion. Number three, if what I experience or see with my fellow teammate begins to erode my trust, 
I will approach my teammate first and directly to resolve the gap rather than discussing it with others. I'm not going to go out there and build suspicion or distrust. If I sense that there's something wrong, I'm going to come to you and we're going to have a conversation and we're going to resolve it. And either it's something that I need to understand better or it's something that they need to understand better. And when it comes to trustworthiness, three commitments. Number one, I commit to do what I say I will do. And when I don't, I will own it and admit it to my teammates. I will own it. I'm not going to hide from it, but I'm going to admit, you know what? I did not do. I was not reliable. I, I kind of faked it a little bit. I didn't care. I put my interests in front of your interests. For whatever reason, I was not trustworthy, and I'm going to own that. Number two, I commit to not overpromise and underdeliver. But if it looks like that is what where things are headed, if I have done something and it looks like I'm not going to be able to follow through, I will proactively tell my teammate that a potential gap exists and how I will resolve it. If I promise to deliver certain results, if I promise to deliver a report, if I promise to show up at a certain time and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, I'm not just going to hide from it. I'm going to approach it up front and say, hey, listen, I think I'm going to miss the target. Commitment number three, if a teammate confronts me about a gap that I have created, I will tell the truth. If somebody comes to me and says, hey, listen, I, I think what you did there was not right. Instead of trying to defend myself, I am going to own it. I'm going to admit it and I'm going to move forward with being trustworthy. Hey, if you'd like a copy of this commitment sheet, just text me or email me and I'd be happy to send it to you. But today and the rest of this week, think about the environment that you are creating as a leader. Is it an environment of trust? Because if for whatever reason your team is not as cohesive as they need to be, it's going to be hard for you to perform as a team. And so you need to choose trust and you need to be trustworthy as a team with each other so that you can work together better and you don't need to be distracted by suspicion and some of the underlying elements that tear teams apart. So today, choose trust, be trustworthy, and perform better.